The digestive system is one of the most important ones in the human body. Its relevance also brings with it a great amount of care. This is because it's more likely for several problems to appear by not knowing it well. The function of this system focuses on processing the foods you eat. Thus, digestion starts based on what enters your mouth. While these foods go through your whole system, the nutrients and other kinds of substances are absorbed to give your body energy. However, sometimes this process is obstructed by a bodily problem. Digestive problems. Problems can affect any part of your digestive system. Some are more well-known than others. Among them some that stand out are, stenosis, a problem with your esophagus, pancreatitis, Crohn's disease, acid reflux, gall stones, hemorrhoids, constipation, gas. How do you identify digestive problems? Most of the problems that have to do with your digestive system have the following symptoms, nausea and feeling like you're going to vomit, abdominal pain, diarrhea or constipation, bleeding, inflammation, abdominal bloating, incontinence, problems swallowing, Many other symptoms can appear. But, the ones we mentioned are the main ones that will show up when you have something like a digestive problem. Natural alternatives, teas for relieving digestive problems. There is a great likelihood that you'll suffer from this kind of problem over the course of your life. As a result, you should know some natural remedies to relieve them. One of the oldest and most effective treatments are teas. You can make them with several ingredients and enjoy their benefits. Below, we'll share some of the best ones for relieving digestive problems. 1. Chamomile Tea Chamomile's properties are perfect for fighting different digestive problems. This helps you to reduce indigestion and relieve nausea. It also reduces intestinal gas. The idea thing is to prepare a loose leaf tea and drink it three times per week, preferably at night. Ingredients 1 cup of water, 1 tablespoon of dried chamomile flowers. Instructions. Heat the water until it boils. Add the chamomile flowers. Then, remove it from the heat. Cover the container and let the tea steep for 15 minutes. After this time, strain and drink it. 2. Mint tea. This plant is very well known in the world of medicine. Its use is becoming more and more common. And, it greatly contributes to your digestive system. Among the problems that it can get rid of or reduce we find indigestion, nausea, or bile stones. Ingredients. One handful of mint leaves, one cup of water. Instructions. Boil the water and add the mint to the tea. Cover the container and let it cool. You should drink this tea at least two times per day, once before breakfast and then again before dinner. 3. Boldo Tea. This tea is widely known. Without a doubt, this is because of its great properties for protecting your digestive system. Boldo tea is perfect for people who suffer from gallbladder problems or indigestion. Ingredients 2 tablespoons of dry boldo leaves, 4 cups of water. Instructions Heat the water on a low heat. Pay attention so that a minute before boiling you add the boldo leaves. Let it steep for 3 minutes. Then, remove it from the heat and cover the container. When it reaches a cool enough temperature to drink, strain it. We recommend drinking this tea after each meal, especially if it was a heavy meal. 4. Cumin Tea Cumin is a spice with several benefits. But there are times when you shouldn't consume it. Because of this, you need to be careful when you use it. In reference to your digestive system, it fights colic and inflammation. Ingredients 1 cup of water, 1 tablespoon of cumin. Instructions. Heat the water until it boils and add the cumin. Let it steep for 5 minutes before straining and serving. To get the best benefits, you should drink it 3 times per week. The health benefits of choosing whole foods like fruits, vegetables and whole grains over processed foods are nearly endless. One of the primary benefits of these nutrient-rich foods is that they can reduce inflammation in the body. Exercise can cause acute or short-term inflammation, which is normal. A proper diet helps keep this inflammation under control. What is most concerning is the potential for chronic inflammation as a result of poor diet, stress and or improper or overtraining in those who exercise vigorously. This combination puts you at higher risk for injury and illness. 
Reducing inflammation in your body can help you train more consistently, recover faster from injuries, perform at your highest level and ultimately prevent chronic disease. Let's take a closer look at how food combats inflammation. Carbohydrates, protein and fat are your sources of energy, carbs, the building blocks of cells, protein, and the means to absorb vitamins, fat. Both vitamins and minerals play a crucial role in muscle contraction, blood flow, tissue repair and healing. Some are more important than others. 9 Diet Tips for Reducing Inflammation Choose Whole Grain Starches, Fresh Whole Fruits and Vegetables. These are more nutrient-dense and contain a plethora of vitamins and minerals necessary to maintain and improve health. Consume a variety of colorful fruits, vegetables and grains from week to week to obtain the most nutritional bang for your buck. Limit refined starches, white versions, and added sugars, white or brown sugar, soda, energy drinks. These less nutrient-dense foods promote inflammatory symptoms such as weight gain and elevated blood glucose and lipid levels. Choose skinless poultry, fish, eggs, legumes and fat-free Greek yogurt. These are quality sources of protein, as well as additional sources of calcium, vitamin D, probiotics and unsaturated fat. Limit high-fat red meat such as prime rib, bacon and sausage, as well as processed meats like bologna, salami and hot dogs. These are higher in saturated fat, which if consumed in excess will increase inflammation. Choose monounsaturated and omega-3 fats, which are thought to neutralize inflammation. Monounsaturated fats are found in olive oil, avocados and nuts. Research shows consumption of these fats is associated with decreased risk of heart disease and cancer, which are associated with inflammation. Omega-3 fatty acids are found in wild salmon and tuna, walnuts, and ground flaxseed. Omega-3 is an essential fat that our bodies cannot make. We must obtain it from dietary sources or supplements. Research shows that this form of fat can decrease inflammation associated with exercise. Limit saturated fat. This includes butter, whole milk, cheese, high-fat red meat and skin on poultry. Our bodies only require a small amount, therefore, daily excess intake will exacerbate the inflammatory response. Avoid trans fat altogether. This includes prepackaged baked goods, flavored coffee creams, liquid and powder, some brands of shelf-stable peanut butter, and chocolate or yogurt-coated snacks. There is no safe level of trans fat. It decreases good cholesterol and not only raises bad cholesterol, considered pro-inflammatory, but recycles and reuses it. Supplement recommendations besides the foods you eat, vitamins and supplements are important to consider. Here are some recommendations that work best for people who exercise vigorously. Vitamin A, 10,000 U daily for 1 to 2 weeks post injury may enhance healing. Vitamin C, 1 to 2 grams daily temporarily during intense training or if recovering from minor injury. Copper, 2 to 4 milligrams daily during the first few weeks of injury recovery, adequate amount found in average multivitamin. Zinc, 15 to 30 mg daily during the first few weeks of injury recovery, adequate amount found in average multivitamin. Turmeric, an ingredient found in curry powder. Curcumin is an antioxidant compound in turmeric, which gives curry and mustard their yellow color and offers anti-inflammatory benefits. Consider adding turmeric to your spice rack, or for a more aggressive approach, you can take 400 mg daily in supplement form. Garlic, research shows it can reduce production of two inflammatory enzymes and may be helpful in keeping arteries flexible and clear, allowing for oxygen-rich blood to get to working muscles. Cooking with two to four garlic cloves daily will add plenty of flavor, plus fight inflammation. If you rarely cook, consider taking 600 to 1200 mg of aged garlic extract. Bromelain, an enzyme found in pineapple juice. Research shows it is an anti-inflammatory. Grab a glass of pineapple juice post-workout or add it to your recovery smoothie for plenty of immune-enhancing vitamin C and inflammation-fighting benefits. It's important to consider carefully the way you fuel your body. A proper diet and supplements will help keep inflammation under control.